we start? Of course, at the beginning with Junior Two Person R and R. What do you need to get started? A coach, competitors, caps, pegs, and of course your R and R coaching manual. Quick march. Marching correctly and marching side by side is a most important component of this event. After wheeling, the team marches straight up the beach to the right-hand side of the marker peg and halts approximately two paces behind it. The wheel is completed in six paces, starting 900 millimetres from the wheeling peg and finishing 900 millimetres facing away from the water's edge. See diagram. They then front, one, two. R &R teams, position. After the command, they march to their allocated position in line with the marker peg, right dress and come to attention. Patient, the patient go. runs to the designated line on the sand, sits down and raises the right arm vertically. Rescuer, go. The rescuer runs to the patient, gives backward head tilt with pistol grip and delivers two breaths of rescue breathing, then supports the patient. On the command proceed, the patient is lowered to the ground using a shoulder grip. Neither hand should be released from the patient's shoulders till the patient is on the sand. The left hand is placed on the patient's right shoulder. The right hand is then used to move the patient's arms. The rescuer then takes control of the patient's head, gives head tilt and moves to a position to inspect and clean the patient's mouth. He then assesses number one for breathing by listening and observing. Breathing absent. And makes the relevant declarations. The patient is then rolled onto the back and two breaths of rescue breathing are delivered. This section should be practiced over and over again as it is the first section analyzed in the case of a dead heat. The patient's head tilt is confirmed and number two, the rescuer, awaits the next command. The patient has no sign of life. Operators, ready? Commence. The rescuer delivers two rescue breaths, then moves to a position to undertake ECC. Note the cycle, two breaths and 30 compressions in approximately 20 seconds. This CPR is timed for two minutes and deductions are made for incorrect timing. After the halt, the declaration is made and the rescuer proceeds to place the patient into the recovery position. Watch closely the hand positions of the rescuer during this procedure and note the recovery position of the patient at the conclusion, particularly the head being in line with the spine and turned downwards for drainage. I suggest at this time the patient opens his eyes to acclimatise himself. Both competitors rise to attention with the rescuer supporting the patient. Step off with their left foot and run to a position behind the marker peg. Patient steps forward to a position adjacent to the marker peg, followed by the rescuer, 
who steps in beside the patient. They then march off together in line and await the right wheel command. The competition ceases on this right command wheel. and the wheel is not judged. Now that you have mastered the two person event, we take the next step to move towards the five person. This is an overview of the event and will give you an idea of how the competition runs from start to finish. The team you're about to see are the 2008 Australian champions, coached by one of the girls' fathers. R&R teams, quick march. R&R teams, positions. Beltman, prepare. Judges change. Feltman, go. Judges change. Pro, see.
ceny. Judges change, the patients are not breathing. Operators, ready. Two cycles. Twenty. Two cycles. Twenty-five. Thirty. One. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. One. Operators, halt. Breathing, present. Teams, read, form. Our teams, lift, real. March. 